Coach D, let's talk about jumps. One of the most successful position groups that we had last year at Carolina, five different athletes who made it to NCAAs. Four of those are back. We'll start on the men's side. Jan Rondriana Solo, second team All-America, both indoors and outdoors in the long jump. Had his uh, first uh, SEC medal at the conference indoor meet. And then over the summer, really exploded in his international competition, representing France, going over eight meters for the first time. Now he's a senior. His goals are the highest goals that there are. I know he wants to be at the top of the podium, both nationally and at the SEC meet, and he's working towards that goal every single day. Yes, Jan has a, had a long season uh, going home this summer, uh, but uh, had great success at home, and uh, some of the things that I predicted for him happened right away. Um, but he was very excited to make his French team and, and to get his uh, country's uh, – national attire and and to do to do well in another level that has helped prepare him for what we're doing here um, Jan comes back uh, very enthous enthusiastic about the season of course we had to delay some training to get some rest from this the summer because he did compete the entire time and he is excited we're excited he believes in me he believes in our program he's back here to with the, with the intent to be on the podium, but also understanding uh, the, the challenge and the difficulty to do that. Uh, so he's working hard every day to, to obtain that, and we'll see how, how it all works out for him. Uh, but our plan is to be on the podium. Uh, of course, uh, we always talk about unfinished business at the SEC and the national level, and oftentimes at, at nationals, uh, people that graduate can help you. Uh, SECs, there is always loaded and packed uh, individuals you know about, and then there's individuals you didn't even know was on someone else's roster. So it's uh, I said it to say that it's never easy, uh, but Jan comes back with great expectations. We expect a lot from him and uh, his experiences at home and, uh, and actually being at Nationals last year helped him, is helping him to prepare because it's one thing to get there you don't skip grades at, the, at that level. Sure. Um, I think he has a better expectation and no uh, knowledge of what it takes to actually get on that podium. So now we got to execute. He's going to have uh, some training partners on the men's side this year, some new additions to the roster, including Tyler Jones, a high jump transfer out of Kennesaw State, who also went to NCAA Outdoors last year. Kobe Franklin in the high jump as well. Uh, quite a, a, a few opportunities on the men's side uh, as far as new jumpers go. Yes, so we're looking forward to Tyler getting here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, he's just recently been transitioning and training with us and uh, as far as workouts go, but he is – of course, one of the, uh, the nation's best, and uh, we're excited that he wants to be here um, in the Gamecock family to do great things, and uh, we do expect a lot. So uh, I will have to learn more about him as an athlete uh, on how that gets done, uh, but if, so far it's been a, a phenomenal experience with he and his family and uh, through the recruiting process. Um, so we're definitely looking forward to, to having him join Jan, at, especially at the national level, and being, being contributors at conference, and uh, it's always strength in numbers, so that's, that's a good strength for our jumpers. So we're excited about that. Uh, Kobe comes in as a freshman. He's young. He's a high jumper, um, desires to be the Ty Williams replacement, uh, so he has some ways to go, but uh, he will uh, hopefully uh, mature and uh, be a contributor in the high jump area. So we're excited about him being here, uh, another Virginia uh, fine, great. So we'll see what happens there. On the women's <laughs> side, you got uh, three returners with NCAA experience. Uh, Lisa made it both indoors and outdoors in the high jump. Jordan Fields made it indoors in the high jump. And then Hanifa made it indoors in the triple jump and just missed out on regionals uh, going to, to outdoor nationals. That's as good a trio, I got to think, on the women's side as any squad in the country. And, and I know that those three, along with Jan, push each other daily, and, and they have big goals not just for uh, for themselves but for the entire squad. Absolutely. Um, the good thing about last year that we take from last year is that, you know, we actually got to the contest. And um, now we can take that experience uh, and, know, and now know what to expect uh, and how to manage our nerves. Uh, so uh, we were uh, especially excited to be there. Uh, but after being there, there was another lesson to learn about what it takes to get on the podium. So we take that into this year uh, with all the ladies. 
yes, they do feel that it's unfinished for them because they aspired, had aspired to do better than they did, and, and uh, as I did too. Um, but hopefully, uh, we're checking the boxes. Uh, they're working very hard. Uh, the fall has been a little unique for each one of them. We've had some things we had to improve in the training room and get some things fixed. Uh, you know, after a little bit of wear and tear from jumping, and and so they're excited. Training's going well. Uh, doing a lot in the weight room to be strong and powerful, uh, and ready to leave the ground uh, come come next year when the season starts. So they're doing a phenomenal job. Um, very attentive to the detail of what needs to happen for them. Getting some grades in the classroom, and uh, getting ready to go. So. And, of course, it's a deep jump squad as well on the women's side. Michaela's back after uh, PRing last year in the long jump. And then Mathilde out of France, uh, a freshman, uh, one of the most versatile athletes on the entire roster. I know she can contribute for you guys in a lot of different ways, uh, possibly jumps, possibly sprints, maybe hurdles. And then, obviously, when you're that versatile, you're a candidate to do big things in the multi-events as well. Yes, Matilda's doing an awesome job this, this fall. Uh, she's learning a lot in training uh, as she's transitioned here uh, from training in France and uh, just loving her Gamecock experience. Uh, much of a competitor, uh, never wants to stop training, which is a, a good attribute if you want to be a multi-eventer. Uh, she's doing really well, so we're excited to get on the track and um, to do that test to see how fall training went. and uh, But she's doing uh, a lot of good things and very, very excited uh, to get on the track and compete as well. So we'll look to what, what some of those areas are best for her uh, at this level and uh, hopefully uh, find a way to contribute while we're on the way to uh, actually wrapping up things for a multi-event contest. So. Coach, another athlete that you've got that's going to be new to competition this year because she redshirted as a freshman, but uh, high jumper Dimir Jeffrey, someone who, like we said, didn't compete last year but uh, had a fantastic high school career and, and wants to compete right away in the high jump. Yes, Dimir also uh, has had a great fall, and, uh, of course, we're working hard and have some weeks left to uh, complete some training for the fall, and Christmas break is going to be uh, critical and important for every, every one of them. Uh, but Dimir, yes, will be back. She's excited to get back out to uh, compete after having a red shirt year. And uh, so she's uh, still working on a healthy body and now getting her mind mentally prepared to, to leave the ground and, and, and has had a great fall in, in prep preparing to do that. So we look forward to, to her uh, in the, with the, the rest of the young ladies uh, that's ready to go in the high jump. Uh, we look forward to what she's going to do as well. Yeah, there's a lot to look forward to with the jumps, both on the men's and the women's side, veterans and newcomers, a lot of different candidates to score for you guys at the conference and the national level. Best of luck, Coach D. Thank you.